What's up Trophy Hunter? Hello and welcome to my little trophy and achievement guide to survive Mr. Cube. Here are the timestamps if you're looking for a specific trophy. What is Survive Mr. Cube? Survive Mr. Cube is a rogue light action game with the story of a man called Mr. Cube, who has to escape from an unknown world in order to get his life back. On this randomly produced system you will have to survive using an unique and unusual cube characters and numerous weapons. The first trophy you will unlock is Practice Survivor. Simply complete the tutorial, pick up the sword, swing around and use your first health recovery item. After that go through the blue portal and you will get your trophy. You can use your potions with circle and you switch your potions with R1. After using the portal you can start your journey. Entering the first stage will unlock another trophy, the first act of escape. There are also two trophies for dying in the game, one trophy for dying once and one trophy for dying five times. Every time you die in the game you will start over again with a random cube and a random weapon. So you can keep dying until you are satisfied with your character. When you die you start at the beginning, in this area you can get another 4 trophies. The first is Grave Robber, simply go to the grave and press the X button. The other 3 trophies you will get after trading with the merchant a total of 5 times. Trading with the merchant the first time will unlock Crab Shot, trading with the merchant 3 times will unlock a real customer and trading with the merchant 5 times will unlock the VIP trophy. The next trophy you shouldn't worry about is Equipment Specialized. To unlock this trophy you need to obtain 3 types of equipment. But this trophy should come through a naturally playthrough. There are 3 weapon trophies, Slash Master, Smash Master and Stab Master. Slash Master is for attacking the enemy 10 times with the sword. Smash Master is for attacking the enemy 10 times with the mace and Stabmaster will unlock after attacking the enemy 10 times with a spear. If you have any trouble to get some of the weapons, simply die until your cube gets the right weapon. The next few trophies should also unlock through a naturally playthrough. Here we have Novice Warrior, Advanced Warrior and Monster Hunter. Novice Warrior will unlock after killing 10 monsters, advanced warrior after killing 30 monsters and monster hunter after killing 50 monsters. Don't worry, you will kill a lot of more monsters through your playthrough. The next three trophies is also very straightforward. Golden coin 1, golden coin 2 and golden coin 3. You need to find totally 50 golds to unlock all three trophies. Gold can be found in some chests or by killing some enemies. With these gold coins you can trade with the merchant in the beginning area. Another free simple and easy trophies you can get is for opening a total of 10 skeleton chests. Those chests are scattered through the stage. On every stage there are way more than 10 skeleton chests and this trophy is very easy to get and you simply get it through a naturally playthrough. It's also important to open these chests to get some gold coins and some recovery items. This will bring us to the next three trophies. Vampire, Energizer and Speedstar. Simply use each potion a totally of five times. For Vampire use the red potion five times. This is for recovering some health. Energizer is the blue potion for recovering some stamina. And Speedstar is the violet potion. This will increase your speed. Another free trophy is for destroying the towers in the game. By destroying these towers a portal will open and you can get to the next stage. You need to destroy a total of 10 towers to get all free trophies. You will get tower visitor for destroying your first tower, tower destroyer for destroying 5 towers and tower disaster for destroying 10 towers. It's also possible that there is more than one tower in the stage. To check out how many towers the stage has, simply press square. Here you can see how many towers the stage has. This stage only has one tower, but it's possible that one stage has up to three towers. Pressing square again will open the stage map. 
There are a total of 25 stages, but it's not needed to visit all 25 stages. On all these stages there are also some gold chests hidden. They are uh, way bigger than the normal skeleton chests and you need to find a total of 5 gold chests to get the next 3 trophies. These chests are a little way harder to find than the normal skeleton chests. If you die and have to start over again, don't worry, every chest, every trophy carry over to your next playthrough. So you shouldn't have any problems to unlock these 3 trophies as well. Another trophies you will get for exploring a total of 10 stages. It's still possible to complete the game before you get the trophy for exploring 10 stages. If this happens to you, simply start a new game, the trophy progress will carry over. Anyway, if you're going for the tower trophies, these trophies will also unlock. Exploring through the stages, we also should have an A open for the special kill trophies. There are also three trophies, the first one is Elite Hunter. This trophy you will get for killing one elite enemy. These elite enemies are a little bit stronger than the normal enemies. The other two trophies is for killing one competing cube and for killing three competing cubes. These enemies also have a random spawn and some of these are very hard to kill. In my opinion they are way even harder to kill as the final boss because some of them are very fast and they can hit very hard. The easiest way to deal with these enemies is a ranged weapon. If you don't have any try to trade with the merchant till you get one. Or simply kill yourself till you get a cube with a ranged weapon. These enemies are also easy to recognize because they look like you with a red circle. Now we're coming to the last trophy in the game. It's called Guardian of Dimension. This trophy can be unlocked by defeating the final boss. The final boss stage will spawn random. Pressing two times square will bring you to the stage map. On any of these stages there will be a portal symbol. On this stage where the portal appears, you will find the final boss. Simply go through this special portal and you will get ported to the final boss. The fight itself is very easy, especially with a ranged weapon. Simply keep moving and shoot him with all you got. If you're running out of recovery items, simply kill the normal enemies. They will drop some more recovery items or special potions to make this fight a lot easier. A few tips in general. Keep dying until you get a cube with a high amount of health. Killing some elite monsters or opening golden chest can give you some hearts, this will increase your health. Try to open every school chest because they drop every time a recovery item and some gold coins. If you have many gold coins you can trade with the merchant and have a high chance to get a very good ranged weapon. You can also get the ranged weapon for killing these competing cubes. Also don't try to start the game with a cube who has a slow speed. This makes the game unnecessary hard. Going with a balanced cube with a ranged weapon makes this game a cakewalk. So that's it, I hope this little trophy and achievement guide will help someone. And don't forget this game has 4 stacks, this means there are 4 easy platinums.